hello everyone in this video let us discuss uh, what is org mode so i wanted to talk about uh, this uh, org mode for quite a while and i have been making videos on emacs and what all you can do with emacs using of course org mode i was talking about uh, uh, how to publish a blog or maintain a blog using org mode but in this video i want to give you a formal introduction and i think it is uh, really important if you are trying to uh, understand if org mode is uh, something that you can also use so i thought uh, why not uh, make uh, a proper video about it so without wasting any time let us uh, start uh, talking about org mode so what exactly is org mode uh, org mode is nothing but uh, a document editing formatting and organizing mode it is designed for notes planning and authoring within the free software text editor called emacs and by the way this is not really my definition if you want to know more about emacs i highly recommend you to uh, take a look at uh, the wikipedia page or you can go to the website orgmode.org so you can of course uh, uh, spend some time uh, here on the wikipedia page you're trying to get some idea about what org mode can do for you and what exactly is an org mode so basically it is nothing but a mode in emacs now the next thing that i want to discuss is what exactly can you do with org mode well uh, there are different applications uh, that i want to mention today and uh, these applications are based on my personal experience i'm sure there are other applications but i think if i am not wrong these are the most common applications or use cases for org mode so the first one is uh, definitely note taking you can take notes in org mode and when you are working in org mode it is nothing but uh, a file a simple file that you a text based based file i think it is very important to uh, to say that uh, when you are working in org mode you are just working with text files and uh, you can definitely take notes but it is not just about taking notes it is also about doing something with those notes that you are taking um, because you can actually uh, give your text files uh, some power uh, and of course i'll talk about what all you can do with org mode you know i'll probably share about uh, you know different capabilities but in this video i want to of course just focus on uh, the um, the introduction of org mode the second thing that you can do is a uh, task management you can uh, create a task so let us say if you're taking a note in uh, org mode you can have these statuses so right now if you press uh, shift right arrow it will insert this uh, to do state and you can also of course um, uh, you know just uh, do it yourself if you want you can just type in here this to do keyword and it will become a task that you can now track so there is a possibility to just get a list of all those uh, to do item so uh, this is of course a to do item in my um, in my uh, task list but i can change the status to done or i can just remove it uh, you can also do blogging with it i made one video about uh, blogging with org mode and you can uh, definitely uh, take a look at that video and i'm al also writing uh, uh, a lot about org mode uh, blogging with org mode as well so if you subscribe to my channel uh, I, I i hope i i wish i believe that you can also learn a lot about uh, how you can also make your life much easier you can also write documents so if you are doing blogging blogging is of course with the intention to share something on a website but you can also create documents with it uh, you can create pdf files you can uh, also uh, do literate programming i made a video about this literate programming let us say if you're writing a technical document where you have different code snippets with the help of org babel 
you can actually make your life really easy if you want to handle the code snippets if you want to execute them within your documents with of course uh, the capability of uh, writing text around your code so this is something that i highly recommend if you are trying to write a technical document that involves maybe a lot of uh, code snippets maybe you're trying to write a book on programming language then definitely org mode can be really useful so let us talk about key features of org mode so the first feature that i want to talk about is folding so if you have been following this video so far i'm sure you must have noticed that uh, while i am at a specific uh, level in my document so right now i'm talking about uh, key features which is nothing but a heading uh, which is nothing of course but a bullet point in my document uh, you can press tab and it can fold so basically when you have multiple uh, headers multiple levels you can actually do folding so you just want to focus on uh, a specific section of your document you can have different states that we discussed earlier so you can have uh, a state like to do or maybe done or maybe you can create your own state if you want you can also track progress of uh, different items that you may have in the to do state or maybe you just want to know out of 10 items how many of them are done so what you can do at any level you can insert something like this within uh, brackets uh, with a slash in between and then if you have let us say three or four to do items uh, maybe um, in your uh, in your list in your specific uh, i mean within your specific header what will happen now you can track the progress so i think it is really a good feeling when out of four items you finished maybe one then maybe the second one or maybe the third one and so on now instead of numbers you can also have percentage so you can have something like a percentage in between and what will happen now uh, if you have let us say four items and if you finish one then the percentage is or the progress is 25 percent uh, 50 percent 75 and 100 so as you can see here that this is a really easy and handy way to do some tra some task management within your text file with of course these capabilities you also have uh, a really good agenda view maybe you want to have different org files and if you want those org files to be part of your agenda you can configure it and we'll probably talk about how to do it but when you have different to-do items or maybe you have uh, different things uh, that you want to plan you can get something like this like an agenda of what items you need to do maybe today or maybe this week or maybe this month or maybe uh, in the next few months because for each and every item you can also schedule them to happen on a specific date so if you want to schedule your items to happen on let us say spe a specific date you can insert dates so let us say i want this scheduled task to happen on 21st of april then you can simply use this uh, schedule um, keyword here and then if you look at your agenda your agenda will show this item on 21st and also maybe a day or two before the actual date at the same time you can have a deadline so maybe something is scheduled to happen on 21st but it can it can probably uh, go on for a couple of days but uh, the deadline is the hard stop when you have to finish this item so this is something that you can do with your uh, items in the in the to-do list maybe if you want to manage your to-do list in org mode uh, you can also have org capture which is in my opinion one of the most powerful feature for example you are doing something and you uh, are interrupted or maybe you have an idea so what you can do you can uh, use this command or uh, this uh, uh, I mean you, when, you, when, you, when you press uh, meta x you can then uh, use this org capture and with the help of org capture you can actually add an item that you want to track but you don't really want to do it right now you just want to be notified maybe later on so you can create an item here that you know please uh, remind me to do this um on 
maybe a specific date and what you're trying to do here is i mean right now this item may or may not have a date but uh, uh, you're trying to capture something that you have to do in future and uh, you can uh, just uh, capture it uh, from wherever you are maybe you are within your uh, agenda or maybe you are in, in a specific file you're writing a document but you have to do something and you or maybe you are uh, i mean maybe you remember something that you have to do but uh, you don't really want to break uh, the, the flow right now maybe you just want to capture it so that you can handle it later so now all of that is handled somewhere in a in a document that you can of course configure so this is something that you can do with the org mode the other thing that i really love about org mode is the reef file so let us say you have this item which is of course a scheduled task and you have to do it maybe um on a specific date but you can move these you can move these items from one file to another file so if you want to basically move it to a specific file maybe you want uh, this to be part of uh, maybe header in a different file or maybe uh, maybe we, maybe another header in the same file you can move it around with the help of uh, refiling uh, so these are some key features uh, and of course there are other features uh, which i of course uh, don't want to mention in this video because i want to give you a very quick introduction uh, what else you can do so uh, do you need uh, org mode well the short answer is yes you do need org, org mode but uh, don't expect immediate results uh, because you have to spend some time uh, learning or mode it uh, i mean it requires some time understanding those commands and uh, it requires some uh, configurations org mode is definitely for uh, you know people who are like a bit geeky uh, i mean i'm not really saying it is like impossible to use if you are not uh, comfortable using a terminal uh, you can definitely learn definitely you can uh, uh, get familiar with emacs but again uh, I, i'm not really expecting um, uh, someone who is not really familiar with command or terminal to start using emacs and uh, org mode so if you are if you think you are uh, comfortable working with the terminal or terminal or console and you're okay with the uh, using keyboard not really mouse then uh, definitely you can use org mode to make your life uh, much easier and productive and efficient and you can do a lot of wonderful things uh, uh, with your time now how to start using emacs and of course org mode uh, well the first thing that you need to do is you need to of course install emacs which is uh, something that i don't really want to cover in this video i'm assuming that you have e emacs with you or you can go to i mean you can do some search online but once you install emacs you can simply install uh, org mode or org package it is usually already there with you uh, with your emacs not with you but uh, it is it is for you uh, to use if you if you take a look at the uh, the uh, list of packages and if you want to learn more about org mode the best place is definitely the official website orgmode.org but in this video or rather in in my video series i want to actually spend some time uh, uh talking about uh, different uh, things that you can do with org mode but i want to give you a very concise uh, uh tutorial but y yet i want to share things that i have been doing for many years with org mode and i don't really want to give you a two hour video where i want to just you know include everything and talk about everything i want to do it step by step i want to uh, introduce what emacs is what org mode is and i want to do it of course uh, with some uh, structure so i believe in structured learning where you know you learn something every day uh, in bits and pieces and over the period of time you uh, use that knowledge to of course do other wonderful things so i will continue making more videos on org mode and i will share tips and tricks and i will share different use cases on uh, how you can use org mode to make your life uh, much easier so i hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today thank you very much